Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I'll show you the importance of uh, Jupyter Notebook tips for uh, tab completion and tool tips. I will show you the magic of tab and shift when combined. Uh, before starting, please note tab completion is also called auto completion. And if you follow the tips and tricks which I'll uh, show you in this video, you might end up uh, increasing your uh, coding efficiency. So let's start. Okay, so we will start. This is my uh, Jupyter notebook. Initially, what I will do, I will simply type shift enter. My pandas is imported. And then what I will do, I will say titanic underscore df is equals to pd dot. If I give pd dot and then I will say tab, then all the functions, okay, all the methods for uh, pandas will be displayed so what we our criteria is to read the csp file so r e and then you can see all the read methods is for reading the clipboard reading csv reading excel everything is open okay then underscore c and then for if you give type c you will get clipboard read underscore clipboard and read underscore csv i'll simply say read underscore csv and then i'll give double quote ti and again i'll give tab then whatever file which is uh, objects in the file which is present in my folder, it will be displayed here. I'll select this titanic underscore PSV. Okay. And then here I'll say tab again dot okay, tab. I'll enter and then dot head shift enter. So it will uh, display the first three rows of my data set. Now what I will do, I will further again, I'll delete this. I'll say tab df dot describe. If I simply say describe, I will get this right. This is the count, mean, median, uh, 25th quartile, uh, median, 75th quartile, max value, everything. But I want to get into the details of what is this function described. So if I say simply shift tab, okay, then I can see this is my uh, function and this is the doc string uh, gener generate descriptive statistics. This is the name of this function, okay, the as per the doc string. Now, if you further want to get into the parameters, then you have to press shift tab twice. Shift tab tab. Okay. So if you if you press shift tab once, shift tab, you will get just this only the very limited description of this function. If you press shift tab twice, shift tab and tab second time so this will open and it will give you all the information about this function and also the parameters. Okay, like percentiles include all on what all value we can give for include when it comes to the describe function and even it, it also will give you the examples of how you can use shift plus tab it will simply open this uh, just uh, simple explanation shift plus tab tab will open all the details parameters now if you press shift plus tab three times shift plus tab 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 shift plus tab tab and tab then what will happen a tooltip will be open here and it, you can type it okay whatever value you can watch and type it for 10 seconds after 10 seconds this tooltip will be gone so if you press shift tab in case of shift plus tab what will happen it will simply open the uh, the function name okay right along with a very limited information if you give here shift tab it has opened a function with a very limited of information in case of shift tab twice view press shift tab tab then it, it will open and the moment if you try to write here okay anything if you want to write that window or that pop-up will be gone now if you press shift tab thrice shift plus tab plus tab plus tab okay shift plus one two three then this tooltip will be open and the you can write anything and this will be there for 10 seconds so you can say uh, include is equals to no it is gone right include is equals to all and if you press enter you will get all the columns okay you will get apart from this uh, you get top frequency mean everything now again i don't want that pop-up to go i want whatever i want to code i want that pop-up to remain so in that case you have to press tab four times shift plus tab plus tab plus tab plus tab so, okay we'll start shift tab one two three and four and then this permanent this window will come this pop-up will come right and you don't have to worry about this so this is a very simple way you can 
code it and you can refer it whatever you are coding and this will help you to understand whatever function you are referring to so thanks a lot for watching this session where i have in a very simple manner i have tried to show the uh, the importance of uh, tab and also the magic of shift plus tab then shift plus tab plus tab and shift plus tab three times and shift plus tab four times and how it will help us to implement our logic very efficiently so thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And uh, please uh, refer my videos to your friends and uh, I will see you in my next video. Thank you.